Hey everyone, Nifty Monkey here, and I'm going to do a review and sound test for the Gamma Key MK61. Gamma Key MK61 is a 60% mechanical keyboard with detachable wire. It uses Gateron optical switches and it costs around $55 or 2,600 pesos. You can choose between black or white color that comes with optical Gateron blue, green, red, yellow, and brown switches. If you want to check this out, you can get them on Banggood with discount using my link and coupon code in the description below. First, let's take a look at the box and what's inside of it. First impression, the keyboard looks is very similar to other 60% keyboards on this price range like the new Rumi 61 or the Techware B68. It has a high profile casing with edge sides that goes around the top of the case and with similar placing on most budget mechanical keyboard, you can find the Gamma K logo on the bottom right side of the case. Now turning it over at the bottom, You'll find the unit sticker on the center and four rubber pads but without a flip out fit. The keyboard has some good weight to it and the plastic feels durable enough making it minimal to no flex at all. Lastly, you can find the USB Type-C port on the back side and that's pretty much it from there. Now plugging the keyboard into the computer instantly lights up into wave rainbow effects. The keyboard shines brighter with its pudding keycaps and I think that is most likely the selling front of this keyboard. Font is just the basic but the sub legend is actually much more good looking in my opinion. The keycaps itself is a PBT double shot pudding keycaps means the sub legends will not fade over time and the keycap will not shine as fast as ABS plastic keycaps. The keycap has a little bit of rough textures which is nice to have with that extra grip or feeling when typing. The keycap layout is standard so replacing them is not going to be a pain in the ass. Now moving on to the optical switch. This is actually my first mechanical keyboard with optical switches and I have very limited information about them but I do know that it uses light sensor to register a key press. As you can see here, I have the Gator and optical yellow switches, a linear switch with 35 gram actuation force. We also have here the extra switch included in the box, optical blue which is clicky, Optical brown which is tactile or has a bump when pressed but without the click sound of a blue switch. Now going to the RGB lights, the LED shines brighter with the pudding keycaps, making it very attractable and good looking especially to those who loves RGB. Now talking about RGB effects. Gamma Key MK61 has very limited RGB effects built into the keyboard but that was actually no longer a problem because they recently released the software for all the MK series. But before we go into the software later, let me just show you this additional info about the keyboard. You can reset the keyboard to factory setting by holding FN plus tab for about 5 seconds. It also has a white LED indicator. When you press the caps lock, 
You can also lock the window key by pressing Fn plus window key. Now for RGB, you can adjust the illumination by pressing Fn plus P and Fn plus open bracket key. You can also adjust the illumination speed by pressing Fn plus semicolon key and Fn apostrophe or code key. And by pressing Fn plus backspace, it will turn off the RGB for good. You cannot set the RGB to a single color using only function keys, but you can customize it using the MK61 software. Now heading to the software. It takes me at least an hour tinkering the software before I got the hang on how to use it. So upon opening the software, click your keyboard on the left corner. Once that, you'll see four different profiles named hardware, one to four. By the way, you can also switch to any of that by using Fn plus Q, W, E, and R. So by clicking it here, it will show you the other panels such as lightning setting, built-in effects, custom effects, and lastly macro settings. So before we head to remap some keys and show you how to set up macros, I'm gonna show you first all of the RGB effects built to the keyboard and also the RGB effects that comes with the software. But if you don't wanna see this, feel free to skip to the next timeline. Now that we're back at keyboard setting, remapping a key press is an easy job using this software. Let's say you want your FN key to be the control key and vice versa. Here's how you do it. Now to bring it back, just click the little negative icon and press save. So for remapping a key with Fn combo, click Fn1 here at the top left next to the save button. Now do the same thing again. For the macro keys, it is pretty simple as well to set this up. First, let's rename my macro to Gamma K MK61. Now I'm going to choose zero MS delay on record. Press start to record. I'm typing Gamma K MK61 review by Nifty Monkey. Press stop, 
go back to the keyboard setting. You can see here at bottom left that says macro settings. That's my recorded macro named Gamma Key MK61. And choose which one you prefer with these three. I'm gonna leave it at release to stop. Click use, then save. Press F and plus Z, and there's your macro recordings. Moving on with the typing experience, it is pretty good even without the flip out feet. The typing angle is very good that it won't sprain your fingers by typing or gaming for long hours. In terms of acoustics, the Gateron Optical Yellow had some inconsistencies on how they sound. Some are pretty scratchy and some other keys. You can really hear the springs pinging loud. As for the stabilizers, they are not great in stock even though they are overlooked as you can see here. The spacebar also has dampening foam placed on the plate to reduce the sound. But that doesn't contemplate the super rattly stabilizer. You have to pretty much mod it or had it replaced to be decent. Overall, the keyboard seems to be good and is definitely worth for its price. And now for the last part, let's do the sound test.